Welcome to the tutorial on how to benchmark a large language model. We will walk through how to use NVIDIA Dynamo's performance tool to easily test a model's latency, throughput, and produce a Pareto graph. Let us clone the Dynamo repository and go into the LLM folder, find the README. First, build the container. This saves us time from installing dependencies. The latest LLM image is built. Second, download the model. This is optional. And third, start the NAS and etcd servers. Copy the command, enter. Docker compose up, and you will be good to go. Go inside the container we built, cd into the LLM directory, and then start serving a small model. Here, we passed in the model name to be the Queen 3 0.6 billion, a very small model. You can pass in whatever model you want. Those two commands will override this file. They will replace the default 8 billion DeepSeq model. Dynamo serve, enter. Awesome. Server is listening on port 8000. We can start querying our model. Let us execute this benchmark. What does all the command mean? This will execute the perf.sh script over here. First, mode. We can choose aggregated or disaggregated. Since we have one GPU, we want to use aggregated mode so that the prefill and decode process will be coupled together. For tensor and data parallelism, we set them to 1. Passing the model name, just make sure it matches the model name as before. The concurrency is an important knob. It means the number of simultaneous requests hitting our model endpoint. This array means we will ex experiment with all of these concurrency values. If we want a smaller scale benchmark, we can reduce the array size. And now it will, the first experiment, issue one concurrent request, two concurrent requests, and four concurrent requests. Finally, for the input and output lens, this specifies the maximum input prompt lens. The default values are 3000 and 150. If you want to have a faster benchmark, you can change it to a smaller number, such as 32. Let's try this out. Copy, open a new terminal, attach to the running container again, and execute this benchmark. Now you can see we are running concurrency equals 1. It will call the gen AI perf tool with the parameters we passed in, the input length of 300 and the output length of 32, Wow, it quickly produced a statistics of the time to first token, which is latency, and time to an inter-token latency, which is the throughput. Here, the latency is 53 milliseconds for concurrency of 1, and for concurrency of 2, it jumps to 77 seconds, which is expected because there are more simultaneous requests. Wow, it was so fast benchmarking successful. Where to see the results? On the left, go to this folder, click the artifact 3, which is our experiment. We can see the three concurrency configurations, 1, 2, and 4, neatly organized in the folder. Here, it helps us nicely record the development setting, such as the sequence lens, also the model name, and for each experiment, we can examine what input are passed in and the detailed statistics of time to first tokens. How can we plot this into a nice Pareto graph? In the readme, execute the plot command. Tip 3 install Seaborn. Copy the graphing command. In the home folder, we will find this Pareto plot. Wow! Look at the beautiful curve. Now you can stack your curve against the press release numbers, such as your GPU vendor's curve 
and also the model you chose. This is how to use NVIDIA's perf tool to benchmark a model hosted on Dynamo. Very easy and very good to use. Thank you for watching.